Hello and welcome to Code Voicing Lecture. Our today's lecture is about the code voicing in three-part harmony when woodwinds in trees. You can ask me why it is so important to learn code voicing. Because after learning code voicing techniques, you can orchestrate three, four parts choral music, main melody and secondary melody, harmonic background and so on. Let's start to learn some basic information. What's the three-part harmony in close and open position? Thickness of sound, power of the registers, and how to use dynamic markings in code voicing. Trias can be voiced in both open and closed positions. A closed position voicing is defined as a distribution of notes whose span from top to bottom doesn't exceed an octave. Open positions of trias have a distribution of notes whose span from top to bottom exceeds one octave. These rules also belong to first and second inversion of the chords. In this lecture, we will learn how to share harmony between three bassoons. The bassoon, a double reed instrument which has a professional range from B flat 1 to F5. This is a non transposing instrument and written as sounding. Three kinds of clefs bass, tenor, treble can be used. In orchestral writing, the safe range is from B flat 1 to B flat 4. It is dangerous to exceed above the B flat 4 because it is difficult to produce highest notes. Only professional players can handle these highest notes B4, C5, C sharp 5, D5, D sharp 5, E5, F5, and so on. Therefore, the safe range for the bassoon is from B flat 1 to B flat 4. Let's start to analyze the bassoon registers. Here is a list of the bassoon registers in various books by master instructors. As you see, each instructor has own approach about the bassoon registers. But I prefer to explain code voicing lectures on Korsakov's registers, because it's very easy to remember. For clarity, I made a graphical scheme which is based on two books, The Principles of Orchestration, book by Rimsk-Korsakov, and Instrumentation and Orchestration book by Alfred Blatter. The purple line shows the thickness of the bassoon sound quality. The bassoon's low register, which I show it as 1, is around B flat 1 to C3. This register has a very thick sound quality. It is rich in audible harmonics. As it ascends, the thickness is gradually lost. The middle register is from C3 to C4. The number 2 indicates the middle register. Here the tones are smoother and the intensity of the tones are less than the lower register. This is a very soft register of the bassoon. The number 3 indicates the high register of the bassoon, which is around C4 to A4. In this area, quality of the tones gradually becomes more tense and penetrating. That's why I show it as a sharp arrow. These tones are thin and nasal. The very high register of the bassoon from A4, indicated by the number 4, has a quiet, piercing and subtle sound quality. Depending on the instrument and the player's skills, the top note of this instrument is indefinite. As I said, in writing for the orchestra, it is dangerous to exceed the upper B flat 4. Only professional players can handle the high F5. Therefore, the safe range for the bassoon is from B flat 1 to B flat 4. This register is not effective in code voicing due to its piercing quality. The second reason is that only professional players can play in tune in very high register. The gray line shows the natural power of the regions of the sound. 
As the bassoon moves towards the end of the range, the power of the regions is less. Be careful, this gray line is not to be mistaken for crescendo and the diminuendo. This is a native character of the bassoon regardless of the player and the dynamic marking. For example, if compare meso forte, both in low and high registers, so D2 will be more rich than the D4. This power difference also creates a problem in while code voicing between different instruments, such as bassoon and flute, bassoon and clarinet, and so on. Because dynamic marking doesn't show only the decibel of the tone, markings indicate both volume and expression. Ascending from B flat 1, every note sounds weak than the previous one. Let's discuss how to write dynamic markings for this instrument. From B flat 1 to F5, all notes can be played at mezzo forte and the forte dynamics. True piano and the mezzo piano dynamics are approximately possible from D2 to F5. True pianissimo is possible from G2 to F5. Because it is not easy to produce very softly below the G2. Now you know the strengths and weaknesses of this instrument. Let's share the triad code within three bassoons and discuss about it. Bassoon has a warm tone color, that's why I show it as purple color. Since three bassoons are used in the code, we will get clearly warm timber. Let's start to do it. F minor chord in close position. The third bassoon plays the F note in the first register, which has a thick and a powerful timber. The second bassoon takes the A flat in the first register like the third bassoon. They have same power and the thickness. The first bassoon plays the C at the beginning of the second register. This code is well balanced because any grouping of three instruments of the same timber is sure sound well, as Korsakov said. Let me remind you that this rule belongs only to close part harmony, not to the open one. In addition, since three bassoons play a chord in adjacent registers, they have almost the same thickness and power. This chord works with all dynamics except the pianissimo, because below the G2 true pianissimo is not possible. Of course, you can write pianissimo in the lower register, but actual bassoon sound will be piano. These kind of problems can be handled by conductor at the rehearsal. When conductor looks at the score, he realizes that composers need the softest dynamic as possible. Most probably for achieve equal balance between three bassoons, conductor will point out to players to increase the volume of the first and the second bassoon. In the score, three bassoons dynamic will be shown as pianissimo, but in live sounding will be piano. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. 90% correct writing will be enough. 10% will be added in live performance. Therefore, you should know that the dynamic markings are not always show the true dynamic level. Hence, I am dividing the dynamics in two groups, true and relative. True dynamics means that the instrument is available to play the notes at that dynamic level. On the contrary, relative dynamics means that the instrument cannot produce it at these dynamics. This means that the composers need the softest dynamic as possible. So, first and second bassoons can play this dynamic. Hence, we can call it as true dynamic. Pianissimo dynamic which is written below the third bassoon will be relative. Don't write different dynamics for each instrument. I want to remind one more point that the close part harmony in low register is unwished 
as they have more chaotic sound. Composers use it to create darker, more mysterious orchestral effects. How to write correct notation? Notation for the first and the second bassoon should be written on the first staff. Don't write three notes at the same time. The third bassoon should be written on the second staff. Don't write more than one note as there is only third bassoon is indicated on the score. Otherwise, the player may assume that this is a mistake or multiphonic technique. Multiphonic technique describes a modern fingering and blowing technique which make it possible to play two or more notes at the same time. But this is a high level technique in modern music that only top players can do it. This code can be voiced with all true and relative dynamics. We have done this code. Let's move to the next one. The C major triad in closed position. The third bassoon plays the C. Second and first bassoon take E and the G. All three instruments play in the same register. It means that their thickness and power are roughly equal to each other. This stride is well balanced and works with all true and relative dynamics. In general, the Sue's second register is more suitable and useful than the other registers due to its soft and smooth sound. Player can achieve through pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte dynamics, which are useful for harmonization of the melody is taken by other instruments. This register of the bassoon well blends with other woodwind instruments and doesn't overshadow them. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use other bassoon's registers in code voicing. Let's have a look at the next high register, which is indicated number 3. B augmented code in closed position. The B note will be played by the third player at the end of the second register. This is quite a soft sound due to its register. D sharp and the G are in the third register. They have a little bit penetrating qualities, but nevertheless, since the three notes B, D sharp, G are in closed position and will be played in adjacent registers, this code is well balanced. All dynamic markings are possible. E flat major code. The last register is fourth, which is written in tenor clef. The B flat four is the last practicable note in orchestral writing, because only professional soloists can play in tune around B flat four and E flat five or F five. You can see this register in Stravinsky and Ravel works. In general, fourth register is not effective for voicing due to its more piercing quality. This code has a quiet piercing timbre. All true and relative dynamic markings are possible. If you have noticed, I didn't share open three-part harmony between three bassoons. The reasons for this, 
As registers are far away, they have a different power and thickness. Hence, finding a good balance between remote registers is not always easy. In the first example, the low C2 and the G2 are quite strong, which can overshadow the E3 due to its weakness. The second example is more suitable than the previous one because the low G2 and the D3 are less risky against B3. Also, open three part harmony doesn't sound well due to the bassoon has a distinctive timbre in each register. In this case, each note of the code will sound more differently. This kind of problems occurs also with three clarinets, three oboes, and the three flutes. Therefore, distribution of open three part harmony for the three same kind of instruments should be avoided. This problem can be handled if given to two instruments of the same timber and the third instrument of another timber. For example, two bassoons and one contrabassoon, two bassoons and one bass clarinet, two bassoons and one clarinet, or two clarinets and one bassoon, two bassoons and one English horn, and so on. At the end of this lecture, we can arrive at this conclusion. The soon lose its thickness and the power of the richness ascending from low to very high register. All three bassoon's registers, low, middle, high, except the fourth, which is very high, are effective in code voicing. Any distribution of the codes in close three-part harmony played by three bassoons give equal balance in wide sounding. Distribution of open three-part harmony for three bassoons should be avoided. All dynamic markings, pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, are possible beginning from G2. So, we have done our lecture. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.